Hello, my name's Paul Grogan and this is Scylla, a 1969 2 litre Bondi Keep. This video has been made because unfortunately Scylla has now come to the time where she needs to move on to a new family to look after her. Uh, we've had Scylla for about four years now, just over, and uh, a lot of time and effort has been spent enjoying Scylla really but uh, we now have a new member of the family which is a Master MX-5 and uh, poor old Scylla unfortunately now needs to go to a new home so rather than try and describe what's being done to this car I thought the easiest thing to do is to show you what's on the video um, as to what's been done over the years and if anybody's interested then I'll leave my email address at the bottom of this and uh, you can contact me here we can talk further it's a shame really i really enjoyed the ownership of having a bond again after many many years but uh, time has come where unfortunately Silla needs to move on so looking at the front um, brand spanking new old stock bumpers were fitted last year i was lucky to be in the right place at the right time they've never been on a car before I had the pleasure of taking the uh, wrapping off the chrome and they are they're perfect. Uh, two and a half years ago Silla needed new tyres so there are four brand new tubed tyres uh, being fitted obviously there's one on the spare as well there's five. Rear bumpers also fitted last year rear section centre and the two outers. Uh, Scylla's got a stainless steel exhaust twin pipe exhaust system fitted and again about two and a half three years ago the missing centre box uh, was made at great, great expense uh, also in stainless steel so she's a little bit quieter now but still has a, a sporty uh, rot to the exhaust. At the same time I managed to buy the bumpers, I was lucky enough to be able to get two new old stock quarter light rubber seals. They've never been on a car before and they are literally just only fitted last year. Uh, I can't take any credit for the paintwork other than keeping it clean. The previous owner, Ron and uh, Ron, Ron Win Stanley and Josie in Nottingham had the car resprayed in Ferrari red. Corsa Rosso and I have to say that it really is as good as it looks in the video there are no blemishes on it really whatsoever I don't think you'll find a better paint job you must have spent a fortune on it uh, last year we had a few problems with the hood not fitting properly and being ill fitting if that's a correct terminology so the hood came off the hood frame came off and we discovered some broken brackets, some broken mounting points and so the whole thing was taken apart, missing studs replaced, brackets welded up and now the hood fits exactly as it should have done when Bond left the factory. So we'll stop this a second and I'll open the doors and I'll look inside. Okay so this is what you get for the interior. The seats are not the original ones that came with the Bond but they are Bond seats, they were purchased at an auto jumble and had uh, very tatty covers on them so brand new covers have been made, it has two new diaphragms on the seat bases, the usual split seams down in the corner are perfect because when I had the new seat covers made I also asked the trimmer to put some reinforcing in there so as far as this car is concerned those seats will never ever split like the normal seats do. It has a recovered in leather cloth centre glove box and you can see there a fiberglass centre console exactly as it should have. The Les Leston steering wheel is the correct one for the car and has recently four years ago been recovered and hand stitched with new leather. As you can see it has the correct Ambler dashboard, there is a new moulded carpet set that's been fitted. 
it has inertia reel seat belts these were also uh, replaced and are new only two years old so I think what we'll do now oh, we'll have a look at the boot okay so a quick look in the boot of uh, Scylla all nice and tidy as you'd expect the boot is fully carpeted with Hardura all the boards and little cubby boxes are underneath the Hardura carpet which is new uh, at the moment I'm just over to see Dave Miller the Bond Club to deliver some of the uh, Bond magazine books that have been ordered to people so you can see she's also a working car over on the right hand side there are two bags one contains the small tonneau cover that covers the hood and there is a full length tonneau cover for the car which well no good to me without a car so I'll throw that in with the price I'll put the hood down now and show you the interior without the hood okay so as you can see the hood's been taken off now we can have a proper look at the interior the dashboard crash pad was a little cracked and broken when I received the car so the dashboard has been completely removed the ambler dash um, repaired in places where there are occasional switches and there's a new crash pad being put in all the seats and the trim are nice and clean whilst the hood was off we took the opportunity to investigate the door winding mechanism and why that didn't work properly so it's got new glass channel seals front and rear and hopefully, if I can do this one handed, as you can see, the windows are now nice and smooth and move up and down just as they should do. Of course, both sides were done. A pair of mud flaps, mud flaps, a pair of sun visors on the roof, as you'd expect. I'll try and cut that bit out if I can. Um, but there she is, a nice looking car. Um, during my ownership, the gearbox, being a 1960 design and manufacturer, was showing its age a bit. So the gearbox was taken out quite early on in 2019, sent over to a triumph specialist. And unfortunately, the bill for that was about £3,000. But the gearbox has now been fully overhauled. The overdrive, yes, it does have an overdrive. You can see the little lever down there, the extra one. Um, all fully functioning and working, so as it should be. Okay, so here we are inside the car. Let's see if it'll sound okay. Right, okay, under the bike, what have we done with that? Brand new radiator, high flow, 250 pounds worth. Still gets a bit hot when she's in traffic, but at least now we know that the radiator's doing its job. Brand new silicon hoses, top hose, bottom hose, heater hoses. These hoses are never going to go again. 
previous owner run upgraded the electrical system so we've got a nice healthy alternator electronic ignition no worry about points ever going wrong not starting battery isolation switch uh, the car unfortunately had a very matte black under sealed bulkhead when I had it so I spent many happy hours sitting on the tyre stripping all the paint off inhibiting the rust giving it a coat of primer and two coats of Ferrari Corsa Rosso Red as you can see not quite a perfect match but it is Ferrari Corsa Rosso as it should be two new coil springs on the front with shock absorbers and whilst the car was down at uh, Mike Patmos for the gearbox there were two new shock absorbers fitted to the rear as well Tiller so now has a correct pair of Lucas Mixo twin horns fitted There's that characteristic Triumph Herald, Triumph Vitesse form that we all know. Twin KN filters on the Strombergs. Again, Strombergs have been checked over, set by an enthusiast, or rather a professional carburetor setter, and it runs very nicely. It's got the correct heat shields on it, overflow bottles. Generally, all in order, but yes, it's not a perfect car and it never will be because there's always something you can do on the car, but at the moment, it's a very nice car, full of summer months. For anybody that's interested, this is Scylla, unfortunately it has to go to a new home. If you're interested, give me a call on the email. I've paid a lot of money for Scylla, I've spent more money than she's really worth on it but that's my problem I've enjoyed four years of ownership this car is currently insured with Putman James with the Transport 6 Club agreed value insurance and she's valued today guaranteed £8,500 the price is always going to be an emotional thing between buyer and seller but I'm not going to give this car away if I can't get something respectable and decent towards what I'm looking at, then I'd rather keep it and not sell it on at a silly price. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video.